Here we are enjoying Japanese foods in Kyoto, Japan. The Nishiki Market is a foodie's paradise. It has everything. Fresh seafood, tempura, octopus with quail's egg heads, roasted chestnuts, Japanese sweets, sweet potato chips, and more. Here we go. We're gonna try this. I'm not sure how to start. Okay. No, my mask getting all gross. A lot of the time they do the whole thing. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. Really? <laughs> but I don't know about this one. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. That's what I said, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a little snack inside, so you need to eat the eggs a lot. I'm eating the legs first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do this the is head. an experience. Do the head. Do the head. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Good job, Good job, Andrew. Mm-hmm. There was an egg in there. Oh, All right. Just tried. <laughs> Just tried a baby octopus with a quail's egg in its head and it was shiny and it tasted a little bit rubbery at first and I tried working on the legs first because it was pretty good size and when I bit into the head it tasted very egg-like because of the quail's egg and it was very proteiny. it was very meaty. It was definitely not anything I've ever had before, so I, def I had to try it, give it a shot, and uh, it was good, yeah. Just different than anything I've ever had. Trying different things down here at the market. All right, so Monica just tried this lovely snack at this little shop here in the Nishiki Market, mm -hmm. and it is a... It is a fish cake on top of a shrimp cracker and on the fish cake they put an okonomiyaki sauce, that thing that we ate last time, the Japanese pancake. Mmm. Mmm. It's very yummy. Mmm. -hmm. And then Miss Bridget is eating sweet oh. potato chips. There they are. <laughs> and they are sweet, but there is a little salt, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, they put a lot of salt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, crispy, yep. yeah, good. So we're trying all kinds of things down here at the Nishiki Market in Kyoto, Japan. Wow, is it like peanut brittle? Rose beans. It's really crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really good. Mm. 
Those are rolled and grilled chicken thighs dipped in a delicious sauce of soy, brown sugar, garlic, ginger, marin, and rice wine. Oh, so good. This is a delicious vanilla custard cream puff. Hot. It was like molten lava, but delicious. Tell me what this is. So this is an octopus wasabi okonomiyaki. Basically okonomiyaki is a Japanese pancake, but it's not sweet. It uses cabbage and then just the normal dough for a pancake. And you put stuff inside like meat or shrimps or whatever. It, 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 octopus is in that? Yes. Okay. It tastes good, believe me. Okay. Nice. And then all the crazy stuff you put on top, what was all the crazy stuff again? The crazy stuff is um, a dry special seaweed. It is called Aonori. It's very green. So it's not the normal seaweed that you know. It's a special one. Then we put like, they dry the fish and then they kind of like shave it. Um, and then mayonnaise. Okay. And then okonomiyaki sauce. It's ba basically, it's kind of like a sweet vegetable sauce. And this little guy is a mochi cheese. That's a sticky rice cheese okonomiyaki. And we don't put anything else on top of it because they put already like a sauce and cheese. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we use these little things to cut it. I've never seen this before. So normally you cut it like this. Okay. Like a pizza. Kind of, yes. Yes, it's a Japanese pizza, I would say. <laughs> wow. Okay. It, are there eggs in there? Yes. Yes, one leg. Can you eat eggs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's the crazy egg lady. Oh, yeah. Or crazy chicken lady. We had so many sure. duck eggs and chicken eggs, we didn't know what to do with them all. They do freeze, believe it or not. Eggs freeze. What? You whip them up, you crack them, and you whip them up, and you mix them, and then you can freeze them once they're mixed up. And not just in the shell. No. It would explode, right? Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Cracked and whipped. That would be interesting. This is interesting. All right. So in the different restaurants, they have different concepts. Very often, they just give you kind of like the dough. You need to mix it with the egg, and then you put it on by yourself. Oh. Like this one, they pre-made it, and we practically just keep them warm here on the plate. But okay. the other ones, you have to do it from the scratch. Okay. Like Which is in Yes. Yeah. Right. There's a place in Imazu like there this? There you go. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Enjoy. Enjoying some jazzy music. We're going to enjoy some interesting stuff here. Mm -hmm. Give this a try. I'm being brave, people. I'm being brave. Yes, We're giving you are. this a try. And the okonomiyaki, the origin is actually here. Like, it's in Osaka, oh. but they say the whole western area. Because there are also different types of okonomiyaki. In Hiroshima, they do it with noodles on top. Like, with the yakisoba on top. I think I saw that at a festival. They were yes. cooking them for the fireworks in Atami? Yeah, that is possible. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There you go. Let me give it a try. See how it is. I'll let you know. I'm a little nervous. Let's see how it is. 
Is it five, I was just going to say, is it like five million degrees? <laughs> Warn me before I do what Monica did. Scald my tongue. I can't taste. <laughs> Poor girl. She's trying. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks hot. Look at the steam coming off that. Uh, I'm trying not to cry. Mm, that it's looks right. really hot. Yeah, really that hot. looks like five bazillion Try degrees. The other one first. Yeah, <laughs> that looks like five bazillion degrees. You just see the steam coming off that one. All right, I'll try this one. This is the octopus one. Well, I'll see what kind of a mess I can make out of it. Cause I'm really great with these chopsticks. <laughs> not fine. And it's not like this kind of which. Their purpose is not to look good. <laughs> no, just get it to my mouth, right? Yeah. There. It's hot. But look at it, it's 5,000 degrees. You can see the steam coming off. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to try because I just watched Monica burn her tongue and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's got a lot of crazy flavor. Wow. Did you say cabbages in here? Yes. Yeah. It's basically made out of cabbage. Cabbage and octopus and a little egg and... Yeah. Hot. Mm. Oh gosh, be careful. Mm -hmm. That's actually really good. We still have some days to taste really food. Good. <laughs> I like it. Here's to trying new foods. Yes. <laughs> and that's really good food. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to describe the flavors because they're really different, but really good. Really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because it's the cabbage all the time at yeah. the store for really oh, cheap. Well, they put it everywhere inside. Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. No, Don't be scared. It doesn't bite you. It's just really hot. <laughs> yeah, it hurts you. Mmm. 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 Uh oh. I love cheese. That's really good. <laughs> it's really good and cheesy. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> mm hmm. Cheesy and delicious. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm happy and like it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. View of it there. You see the cabbage in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Wendy Will Travel. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with all your friends and family, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Stick around for the photo show.
Thank you.